Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about assembly configurations in SOLIDWORKS. So assembly configurations are good if you have different configurations inside your assembly. So maybe you have a part that's changing um, inside your assembly and you want the part configuration to reflect in the specific assembly configuration that you're dealing with. So let's talk about a concrete example. So let's say we have like a big and small motor, motor bracket, for instance. So let's go ahead and create that configuration for this motor bracket. So let's say, let's go ahead and make two configurations. We're gonna call it big. And then we'll make another one called small. So let's say this is a small one and then the big one, perhaps we wanna change, um, we'll change the height maybe. So here we could come here and edit this. Okay, we're gonna, we'll say uh, specify configuration and then the big configuration. Let's say the big one is gonna be five inches and then for simplicity, let's actually make this equal so it'll update with it. So if we come back here, we see a big and a small. So these are our two main configurations. And then if we come into our assembly, uh, we could like right click the part and say big. We could right click and then click small. So th these are our two configurations and we should be able to reflect that in our assembly configuration. So instead of having to change our part configurations every time, if our assembly configuration uh, knows about it, that should take care of it. So in big, if we come here and say big and then specify configuration in the big configuration, so if I click small, you see the whole assembly changes and big, the whole assembly changes. So notice that here with the assembly configurations, the part configurations is tied with assembly configurations. So it can adjust to it um, just by changing the assembly configuration. Okay, so this idea is pretty powerful. If you want to expand maybe different concepts, you got different concepts inside a certain assembly. Uh, you can also play around with like suppressing mates in certain, um, you can say like suppress in this configuration or unsuppress in different configuration. Those are other things you could do with, deal with, okay? So yeah, if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.